YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, we're going to go over the weekly reset for the week of April 23rd. We're going to go over all the new activities to do within Destiny, and there are a lot this week. We have Iron Banner returning. We also have the second week of the Revelry. Now, we're going to check out some new weapons that Lord Saladin has brought to the tower, and also check out some new roles on them. And this is a great week to get your power level up, because not only will Lord Saladin bring Bring powerful gear bounties, but also Eva Levante. She will have weekly bounties that will give you some powerful gear. We'll check in with her in a little bit. You also want to note that it is double valor this week. So when you play in any of the PvP playlists, except for comp, you will get double valor. Also, it's worth noting that the Iron Burden consumable is being retired after Season 6. So you can still grind this Iron Banner, and I believe there's two more Iron Banners after this one, if you're trying to get the Fusion Rifle, the Wizened Rebuke. Or is it called Wizened Rebuke? I always mess that one up. But also, they put out an Emblem and Triumph that if you get 2,500 kills while you have the Iron Burden active, you can get a Triumph called Now You're Just Showing Off, and there's also an exclusive emblem called Heavy as Death. Alright folks, let's get into the weekly reset. For the Nightfall Strikes this week, you want to get a 100k score so that you can get two drops of powerful gear. We've got the Corrupted, Strange Terrain, and Exodus Crash. In terms of the Nightfall Strike exclusive loot, the Corrupted has a pulse rifle called Horrors Least. That's a rapid fire pulse rifle that will be an energy weapon with arc burn. And if you get the right roll in it, it's a pretty good weapon. Strange Terrain has the Bray Tech Osprey Rocket Launcher. That is a static rolled rocket launcher that's similar to Sins of the Past from the Leviathan Raid, except it does have a little bit more velocity. For the Exodus Crash Strike, you will get an Exotic Sparrow. Now here's how I set up my Nightfall Strike uh, card. Uh, I'm sorry, Five of Swords card. First off, I put no power handicap on it. Does not matter. Throw on the burn of your desire. I put on extinguish, match game, and I throw on a blackout. One thing I did not test last week in my Arbalist review is how uh, the Arbalist will work in match game when it comes to the Nightfall. Remember, the Arbalist will take out shields really quickly. And in fact, with the wanted enemies in some of the Lost Sectors, one shot from the Arbalist will take out that enemy shield. So I'm going to be trying out the Arbalist this week. Week. If you've not gotten the Arbalist, remember, this is week two, you could still get yourself the Arbalist. After the revelry ends, Bungie said the Arbalist will be thrown into the exotic loot pool. For the Vanguard Strikes and also the Daily Heroic Story missions, the Singe this week is going to be Void Singe. And like I say, every time it's Void Singe, break out the Graviton Lance. You will do wonders, especially if you have a Masterwork Graviton Lance. These two modifiers will change daily. We have Blackout and Heavyweight. So for today, break out that Hammerhead heavy machine gun you'll have a good time the flashpoint this week is over on titan so simply do your heroic adventure right here that'll give you about 35 percent towards your 100% uh, completion of the Flashpoint for Sloan. If there's no public events like there's none right now, go do some Lost Sectors. Those Lost Sectors, they'll give you about 10%. Once you complete those, go back and see Sloan, and she will give you a powerful drop. If you were looking for the Ikelos shotgun this week, well, that's the only weapon that drops from Escalation Protocol this week, not the sniper and not the submachine gun. Simply kill the boss over and over and pray that the boss will drop it for you, along with those annoying shaders. You do not need to open up the final chest. Just kill the boss over and over and hope that you get that shotgun to drop if you need it, of course. Looking over at the Gambit playlist, let's check out the Reckoning first. Complete a number of Reckoning runs and you will get some powerful gear. And the burn this week is going to be Solar Singe. We've got Attrition and we have Brawler for the daily modifiers for today. Now when it comes to Gambit Prime, same thing. Complete four matches, you will get some powerful gear. And then good old regular Gambit, complete one match, you will get powerful gear. Complete Complete three, you will get powerful gear, but you will see the Drifter, he will have a weekly bounty. Complete that, you will get another powerful drop. As I mentioned before, it is double Valor this week. And actually, guys, you know what? I think Comp does give you Valor points. I don't know. I'll look it up and leave it in the comment section or pin comment. All right, so Quick Play, Rumble, they will definitely give you double Valor, but also Iron Banner. So you might as well just play Iron Banner this week because you want to get those bounties done for Lord Saladin.
Island, which we will go check out in a second and check out those new weapons and what new roles he has. But complete one match of Iron Banner, you'll get powerful gear, complete five, and you will get another powerful drop. On the Dreaming City this week, all hell has broken loose because it is the third week of the curse, which means the Shattered Throne, the three-player raid, is back this week. All right, we've got Dark Monastery. That's going to be your story mission you could complete and get powerful gear. You got War for the Dreaming City, complete daily bounties you get powerful gear. We have the Ascendant Challenge and also Gateway Between Worlds. Gateway Between Worlds, just simply complete the Blind Well, go present your offering to the Oracle, and you will get some gear. Now for the Ascendant Challenge, this one's a little bit of a weird one, and first off, Petrovenge is located over here. Um, this one is located at Harbinger's Seclude, which is all the way up somewhere here. I'm going to link a video in the description from esoteric he's gonna show you how to get there this one's a pretty fun week where you go in there it's pretty straightforward you're gonna uh, you're gonna kill a bunch of ads you're gonna kill some wizards I believe and then you're gonna get some swords and you're gonna have some big old knights and lots of taken and you're gonna kill those knights kill all the taken and use the swords and collect your gear complete the challenge and you will get a powerful drop from turning in that bounty but real fun week I'm probably gonna do that right away actually checking in with Ada one thanks to a recent update where now she sells all of the different weapons you can choose which one you want and try to get that god roll all right you will need a ballistics log to get those and to get a ballistics log she's got two bounties and you could do this on each character she's got two weekly bounties uh this one here is you got to complete seven of the daily bounties and this one here just go complete the forge over and over also, she will have some other bounties here, research weapon frames, uh, she's got mod components you can buy, and also a black armory mod. I'm going to buy one right here and see what I get. What did I get? I got sprint grip. No, I want rampage spec. But if you want things like dragonfly spec or rampage spec, you can buy that from Ada One right here. She also has some other things like the Forge Polymer and also the Obsidian Radiance, which you can apply uh, to your weapons, which will increase the damage while doing the forges. If you'll be playing some Gambit or Gambit Prime, make sure to check in with the Drifter. He's got a number of bounties for you, tons of bounties actually. These bounties up top are for the new people who are trying to get their character up to 640 power. These will upgrade your synthesizers depending on what gear set you want. These will give you synths and also some infamy rank points. And uh, you want to choose these bounties based on what gear sets you want to go for. We've got Invader, we've got Sentry, we've got Reaper, and so forth. Here we've got your regular Gambit bounties. You want to grab those as well as this one right here because this one will give you some powerful gear if you complete it in regular Gambit. You need 12 points in Gambit. Wins will give you 3 points, losses will add 1. Let's check in with Lord Saladin and see what new weapons he brought this week and what are the new roles on him. I believe he brought the Scout Rifle, yep, the Scout Rifle and the, uh, the Rocket Launcher. Alright, so first off, all of these bounties will give you powerful gear, so you might want to try to complete these if you're trying to get your power level up. So these two right here, you need to complete these, Iron Confidence and the Route, to then buy these weapons. And let's check out the roll. So, we have the Talons of the Eagle, High Impact Scout Rifle, Oh, we've got Rampage and we have Outlaw. All right, this is a good roll. I guess I'll be playing Iron Banner this week. We have Drop Mag, which will really increase your reload, but you run out of ammo really quickly. We have Appended Mag, which will increase your magazine size. Polygonal Rifling and Extended Barrel, which will really extend out that range, but you take a hit on stability and also handling. Let's look at the Rocket Launcher. What do we got? We have High Impact Frame, so pretty big blast radius. We've got auto loading holster, so cocoon like from Destiny 1. We've got snapshot sights, we've got high velocity rounds, we've got black powder which increases your blast radius, we've got hard launch, and we've got smart drift control. I don't know, not so, in my opinion, not a, not too much of a great roll on this. I'd much rather use Bray Tech Osprey or Sins of the Past, but that's a good roll for the Scout Rifle. All right, you've got your Iron Banner gear set here that you can buy with tokens and also completing bounties. And then there's your Iron Burden. And remember, that's going to be retired soon. And if you use the Iron Burden and get a number of kills, and I forget off the top of my head how many it is that you need, um, you can then buy this Wizened or Wizened Rebuke, which is a pretty beastly fusion rifle. And the main perk in it is called Demolitionist. Kills with this weapon generate grenade energy. Activating your grenade ability reloads this weapon from reserves. It is week two of the revelry, as I mentioned before, and Eva Levante should refresh with, yep, sure enough, she's got her weekly bounties. So 
these weekly bounties will all give you powerful gear and you can see I did not complete last week's which was crucible or gambit matches I didn't have time to play I was working on my warlock last week actually and also she's got her daily bounties and she doesn't have the arbalist anymore because I already completed that but you know what I don't even know what's in these so no actually you know what I'm not gonna buy this because I want to use that to put into my tonic so if you're new to the revelry simply go in here into your menu go to your revelers tonic and you want to go here go here and you could actually increase and boost your either your melee your grenade or your class ability if you like running arc strider run shinobu's vow and run skip grenades and annoy everyone in the crucible with getting a boost on your grenade also if you put that tonic on and put on the uh, full set uh, do I have the full set? Yeah, I do have the full set. Uh, the full set, let me put on the class item. Yeah, there we go. And you put on the full set, uh, you'll see a little little thing down here which will show you that you will get a super stack of that ability that you will be recharging. Like if I throw on the grenade recharge rate, you will see a little number here and you will just see grenades replenish really, really quickly compared to if you had none of these on. Lastly, let's go check in with Tess Everest and see what she has for sale. But before I forget, a couple of things. One, go see the spider over on the Tangled Shore. He will have a wanted bounty that will also give you some powerful gear. But also, I core Ray when you complete 20 bounties, which will be pretty easy if you're doing all of the weekly bounties from all the different vendors. You hit 20 bounties, go see Ikora. She'll give you a powerful gear drop and possibly an exotic, or at least she's been nice to me and giving me lots of exotics. If you want to access the Verdant Forest, uh, that is the new activity within the revelry, go to the menu right here, and actually there will be some daily challenges. So if you kill two bosses, you get yourself an enhancement core. All right, let's check out Tess Everest. First, we'll check with what you can buy with Bright Dust. We've got the Stylish Fist Bump. We've got the Hype Dance. We've got an Exotic Sparrow. We've got an Ugly Ship. We've got the Ladylike Shell, which looks like a uh, Ladybug. Okay, I think I'll pass on that. That has Guiding Light, which will give you more XP, which means that you will get 10% XP in all activities if you're looking to get more of those uh, these Engrams right here. Because remember, during this event, the Revelry, we get double Engrams. Got another ghost shell, we've got the cheese projection, we've got chest, and we've got boots for the vernal growth set. All right, for the other stuff, let's see. Ooh, we've got an ornament for the colony. I don't have that, but you know what? I will pick it up myself right now. That's for a 12, uh, 1250 bright dust. All right, we've got the or oh, we've got the ornament for the 21% delirium. Ooh, that looks really cool. All right, I am going to buy you also for 700 bright dust. Anything really cool exotic wise? Uh, let's check out this. I don't have this thing. The threat display. No, actually. I don't think that looks cool. I'm gonna pass on that one. All right, we've got this ship here. I've seen that one, that's very Osiris looking. And yeah, that is from the Curse of Osiris DLC. Uh, we've got the ornament for the Celestial Nighthawk. And that's pretty much it with what you can buy for Bright Dust. Also, these bounties here, they will count towards your Ikora Ray completion of 20 bounties. All right, let's see what, what she has for sale, uh, for real money, for silver. All right, the Mood to Party Bundle, that'll give you five of these uh, Jubilant Engrams. Uh, we've got the Hop Along Bundle. This will give you three Engrams and this Easter Bunny. Uh, let's see, does it have any? Oh, sorry, hold on. This Easter Bunny um, Ghost Shell. We've got Public Defender, increased loot from public events on all destinations, Omni Telemetry, and a random mod. All right, I'm not buying that, even though it, I don't I think it looks silly, and I don't like the perks. And we've got these same um, emotes that we had last week for sale with silver. So the Arc Strider's Patience. We also have, let's check out this one here, the uh, Lightning Before Thunder. And that's the Striker's Patience. All right, check that out. That's pretty cool. And lastly, the Warlock one, Resting Storm. Let's check that out. What do we got here? All right, Storm Caller's Patience. Very, very cool. But I don't see myself spending the silver on them. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a hashtag. Made it to the end. If you did make it to the end, and do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream. Usually, you know, it's on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.